Good morning guys. Happy May 27. It's a nice Saturday outside. Memorial Day weekend is just starting. Hope everybody is good and good health and good happiness. Today is going to be a great day. We're hitting it. We're striking every ball that comes our way recently. Last weekend was a great weekend for this channel. Great weekend. So last Sunday we had two wins out of three. And guess what? There was a 10 to 1 winner in this one too. So let me tell you about the two horses today. We'll recap uh, last Sunday. So let me tell you about two horses today I like. One is in Belmont. It's called American Apple. It's in race seven. Eric Cancel rides this horse. This horse won a grade three at Aqueduct recently. This, Believe it or not, this is a step down in class for this horse. This, this horse is going to carry five pounds more than a real horse in the race. But at the value of this race, this horse is worth a bit. There's going to be two big favorites in this race. Eric Cancel is going to ride very nicely here, I believe. So this is a drop down in class because he's already won a grade three. He's been tried in very, very tough races since. So this is a big drop down for him. Hence why he's he's uh, has five pounds more today. So weight always doesn't matter if you class act. I always believe this. This is how I always follow horses this way. So this is American Apple Race 7 Belmont. Keep an eye on it. It will be a value bet, by the way. So it'll be a good price today. Hopefully it will run very good. And then in Monmouth Park, we have a Christa Clement horse here, Big Everest. He's in the outside post here. There's another favourite in this called Public Sector. He hasn't run in over 230 days. If this horse is ready to go, this Public Sector is going to be a very big battle down the home straight, believe me. But I, I like our horse. I, I like the way he's running right now. So he's going for a four-timer today. He's in great form and Christophe Clement is very sweet on him. So that's uh, Big Everest in Race 7, Monmouth Park. So we're capping last Sunday. We had a 10 to 1 winner in Twin City in Woodbine. You have to do your homework on horses, guys. You have to watch replays after replays after replays. I told you this horse hit so much traffic in his last race before that if he got a clear run, he would beat this horse. This horse was reopposing from last time. So how these odds makers make up these races, I don't know. I, I banged the bookies big time in Europe uh, last Sunday. So it was big city one on the total at 10 to 1. I got him 16 to 1 in the European markets. It was a great ride, by the way. If you want to look back at the race, look back at it. It was a very good ride by the jockey. Then Concoud, Concoud, sorry, was the name of the horse that won in Santa Anita. He was reposing two horses that beat him already. I knew from his bullet workout that he was back on song, he was back on form, and he beat them two horses, like I told you he would. It was a great battle down the home straight, and he got the better of uh, first piece. So that's another nice race to look at, so it is. And our, another selection, I know speaking would be very hard to, to beat in Monmouth Park, but our horse, the, the layoff did him no good, so that's a nice little window opener for him, so next time out might be a nice little prospect at a good price. So he didn't run into any sort of race, so... That's the other one. That was Dr. Dial, I believe. So looking forward to a good day, guys. I hope you guys get a nice start to the Memorial Weekend. And uh, I'll see you back here soon. And hopefully we'll keep the, ro the ball rolling and the train rolling. And the money keep flying into the pockets. God bless you all. Horse Whispering Gambler. Loves you all. Be safe, be good and be happy. All good.